always this question comes. Very good question. How about if someone neglected the salat for many years? Now, alhamdulillah, he makes tawbah. What should he do or she do? There are two opinions. And I will tell you which one I prefer. There are two opinions. But I tell you, whenever the mas'ala is khilaf, I will tell you the khilaf. And our ustaz and ulama should be like this. May Allah forgive them. Look, I can tell you what's my opinion. And that's it. You know what I mean? But that's not fair. Because you are intelligent people. You are students of knowledge. Although, yani, mashallah, some of you even old. But you are very intelligent people. We should respect your intelligence. When there is mas'ala khilafiyah, we mention the khilaf. What is khilafiyah? When, when it is an issue of opinions, the ustaz, if he knows the opinions, should mention it. And then he can say, wa urashihu, and I, I follow this opinion, and up to the student to follow this or this. There are two opinions about making up the salat. If someone has missed a few years or a few months or whatever, Especially years, because many of us <coughs> are taking the deen seriously at quite late age. But it's never, alhamdulillah, too late, because Allah will accept you. Don't worry about it. As long as you didn't die, you're fine. But Shaykh, when I became 60, I started, it's okay, my sister. It's okay. Shaykh, when I am, it's okay. Don't panic. But do the following. So a group of ulama say, you still have to make up the salat. Every dohr you pray, you pray with, with it another dohr for the rest of your life. Example. Example. At what age we should pray? We the Muslims. You were born Muslim. If you were, if, if this is only for those who were born Muslims. If you are reverted to Islam, this fatwa is not for you. Mm -hmm. Let's say you, you were born Muslim. At what age you, you should st start praying? Mm -hmm. This is your birth. Yeah. Ten. Ten. No, seven, seven you learn. Seven you learn. But ten becomes wajib, halas. Until death. Let's say a person before he dies, he makes tawbah. But he didn't pray for this. So at the age of, let's say, someone 40. How many years he missed? 30, 20, 1, 2, 3. 30 years. So, yeah, yeah. From here, all the way to his death, he should pray with each salat and other salat. Fajr times two of the day and making up. Dohr times two. Asr times two. Maghrib times two. And Isha times two. Okay? If, if you fear Allah more, actually times three. That's one opinion. Four. Because you want to finish before that. Okay. That's one fatwa. This fatwa I don't follow. I follow the following. <coughs> what is that fatwa? Is that, look, we consider you a revert. Let's say at the age of 40, I consider you just embrace Islam. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, do as much as you can of good. Whatever good you can do. For example, for Salat, make a lot of Tahajjud, Qiyamul Layl, uh, Doha. Because look how many years you missed. How about if you're 50 or 60? Look how many years. The same thing goes for fasting. Some ulama say you make up, no matter what. We say, then what to do? Just do good. Try to fast Monday and Thursday if you can. Sheikh Zakat, I never gave Zakat. Give Salaqah as much as you can. Plus Zakat from the day you repented until you die. Sheikh, I didn't go to Hajj. Go, brother, to Hajj. Mm -hmm. Right, at least write your name in Tabung uh, Haji. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, they are finding Allah, discovering Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, they make Tawbah. So, my humble opinion, and I heard my sheikh, may Allah have mercy on him, the great sheikh of Maliki Fiqh, Sheikh Ben Yunus, Ayat Salam, Hafidahullah, he's still alive, old man but still alive. My sheikh who taught me, I heard him giving this fatwa, I took it from his mouth. 
I was listening young, like our son here, Khalid. I was always sitting with the ulama. Well, and we have another fatwa, do good, my son. Pray as much as you can, he said. You pray regularly, five daily prayers, but you add duha, never miss duha, sunan, rawatib, uh, this one, qiyamun layl, at least two, two, four rak'ahs every night, before you sleep or after you sleep, no problem. Qiyamun layl or tahajjud. You have to do that. He said you because there is a huge void in your life. Yawm al qiyamah. So, Ya Rabbi, I did my best at the end of my life. I did ishtihad. Clear, inshallah? Is this clear? Sheikh, yes. We're actually in Masjid al Haram. We, the pahala is. 100,000, yeah. So, so, when we do qada, Masjid al Haram, is it? No, it doesn't. Only that one doesn't work. Very good. The reward of it, 100,000. Yes. But going for Umrah and praying a lot will help. Very good. Sheikh, I didn't pray for many years. Go to Umrah. One of the good things, go there and pray a lot. And please stay in Mecca more. A lot of people stay in Medina more. Yeah. Mecca 100,000, Medina only 1,000. Yeah. So, yeah, when I am there and do my Umrah, before I come back, I pray as much as I can. Should never miss any Salat there. Every Fajr, Fajr, Dohr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha, 1,000, 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, 500,000. Allahu Akbar. The next day, the next day. Sheikh, how about Doha? 100,000 Doha. Tahir Masjid, 100,000. Qiyamun Layl. What? Oh, I will not leave. I go just for Makan, maybe, and toilet. That's all. We go there. Hotel. I need to sleep. <laughs> okay, sleep a uh, few hours. Go Ibadah. No. Oh, I paid so much money. I need to enjoy the hotel. <laughs> and who told you come to this hotel? <laughs> then ladies, mashallah, and even brothers, shopping. Had it not been for the Saudis to close shops, <laughs> we'll find you there. <laughs> they love Malaysians. <laughs> They love you. When they see you, they start speaking Malay. Yeah. They know how you are Malay. Yeah. Have you seen? Yes. Yeah. One day, this guy saw me, he started speaking Algerian. I said, how did you know? He said, from your, the way you walk. <laughs> Algerian is nervous. He said, the way you walk, I know. They, they, they love you. Do you know, because they, they deal every day with yeah. people. So, first they guess, first they guess, then they get you. Okay, khalas, this issue of salat, inshallah. So please teach your children that this is very important and tell them this fatwa. Now, they want to go with the first fatwa up to that. Maybe they feel comfortable praying extra, extra I mean, with a dohr, another dohr, asr, another asr, until they die. Let them. Don't say, no, you're making it difficult on yourself. The other one, also leave it. Don't say, brother. Sister, you just started praying and you are 60 years old, you suffer 50 years of deficit. Do as much good as you can. 